Hello and welcome to Best Web Soft. In this video, we are going to go over how to add your very first recapture using the plugin by Best Web Soft. Let's start by installing the plugin. To do so, we need to go to Plugins and click Add New. Now we need to search for a plugin, type Recapture by Best Web Soft, click Install and activate. Moving on. The next thing to do is to customize the settings. Click on the Settings tab. Authenticate your site by getting the site key and secret key from Google to create the connection between your website and Recaptcha and verify the user's response. Enter the name of your website and choose the type of Recaptcha you want to add to your website. Add the domain name. Then mark the checkbox if you accept terms and service conditions. Page with API keys will open. Copy your site key and secret key. Pass them into the appropriate fields in the settings page. If the keys are identical of both pages, you will see the notification that the verification is completed. Nicely done! Next, we go to general settings. Here we have three versions. I will show you how all of them will look. As an example, we took the login form. When we were getting our API keys, the second version was chosen, and now you can see how it will look. I want to show you the third option. To do so, we will choose it here and reset our API keys. We will have to delete and add our website to the field. Choose the third option, just like you did at the settings page, and add the domain name. And just like before, copy and paste the keys and test the recapture. Don't forget to save changes and test the recapture. This is version 3. And now, let's repeat all the steps so we can set the invisible version and reset our API keys. We will have to delete and add our website to the field. Choose that option just like you did at the settings page and add the domain name. And just like before, copy and paste the keys and test the recapture. Now we can check how it will look. There are several options to set it for. Login form, registration form, reset password form and comments form. First on the list of contact forms is contact form by Best Web Soft. First, you need to install it. Enable the checkbox and click Save Changes. Now create a new post and click the shortcut button, pass it into the post. Now. We can see how it will look. This is version 2, version 3, and invisible version. Contact form 7 is next on. Download it if needed and choose it. Don't forget to save changes. To display the recapture, go to contact in the dashboard and click add new. Here you can build a custom contact form. To add recapture, choose it and click Insert tag. To pass the contact form to the post, insert the shortcode which you will see after saving changes. This is how it will look. This is version 2, version 3, and invisible version. Let's look at the Ninja Forms next. Just like before, we click Install, Save Changes and go to Ninja Forms in the dashboard. Click on the Add New and choose any form that you want to create. Add any block that your form will have. And here you can see the Recapture too. Place it anywhere you want. Click Publish and type or choose the name of the form. Next, we can add it to the post.
choose the form we created and let's see how it will look. This is version 2, version 3, invisible version. Decided to choose Jetpack as your contact form? Click install now and add a new poll and add a new post or page and choose add contact form as your basic form will appear right away. At the end, form under capture should look like this. And here is version 3. Mailchimp is compatible with this plugin too. Click on the forms in the Mailchimp tab and modify the form in anywhere that you want. Recapture will be added automatically. Save changes and insert the shortcode to the post. After displaying the form, it will look like this. Version 2, version 3 and invisible version. Another plugin by Best Websoft is called Subscriber. It can be easily installed and activated. Use the shortcode to display it on the page. Recapture will be added automatically. And it will look in the following way. Version 2, version 3. And invisible version. Testimonials is also a Best Websoft plugin. After installing it, go to Testimonials in the dashboard and enable the Google Recaptcha. Add it to the post with the help of shortcode. At the end, it will look in the following way. WooCommons is another plugin that is compatible with our recapture. Click on the Install Now and choose all the forms where you want to add your recapture. It will be added automatically. Here is the login form and registration form, reset password form, add new group form. Now let's move to the body press. It also, diff uh, it also offers you a different forms. Let's install it and see how they will look. This is registration form. Add new group form. This time we will look at Divi. Install it and choose what form will include the recapture. You should know that to add the recapture, you need to turn off the DV spam protection at first. You can do it while creating the new contact form. After saving it, it will look at the following way. Now let's look at BBPress. There will be no new steps. Install it, select the form that you need, and recapture will appear by itself. It will look in the following way. The last one is VP40 forms. Enable what forms you need to post it. It will automatically appear after a certain form is selected in the settings. Here is the login form and registration form. New topic form. 
Hardware capture form in the settings. We'll let certain people log into the site or use any other chosen forms without their capture. You can choose what theme of recapture will be displayed on the site light or dark. This is light theme. This is light theme. Hide recapture page, and here you can see the dark theme. You can also choose the size. This is normal size, compact size. And no matter what version you choose, you have a big range of languages. This part of settings will be very useful for websites that don't use English as their default language. Let's change it to any language and see how it will look. If you have a multilingual website, then by installing the multilingual plugin, the language of the recapture will be changed automatically when a person is choosing another language of the website. If Google is blocked in your country, Mark this checkbox and recapture will still work. Whitelist notifications is the simple message that will inform people that they're in the whitelist. Moving on to the advanced protection. It is used to keep the submit button displayed while the recapture is loading. The last thing in the settings tab is displayed submit button. Basically what it does is keeps the submit button displayed until recapture test is passed. We are done with the settings tab and next is miscellaneous settings. Here we can find the track usage checkbox. Enable it if you will allow us to anonymously track the usage of this plugin. You can click on the restore settings button and everything will go back to its original form. Do you want to add extra code? Then just go to the custom code tab and enable active custom code and add anything you want. The last tab is licensed key. Here you can check the license key by clicking on the login to client area button, manage and check all the payments, purchases, plugins, etc. Another important theme is the whitelist page. It shows you the IP addresses, the date when the person was added and the reason why he ended up on the whitelist. And there you have it! Fully functioning recapture displayed to protect the website. I hope this video will help you. Thank you for watching and we would be happy to see you on our website.